Good morning. Uh, Mark Barrett's with Eagle Eye Promotions. Um, so much talk about buzz here. I'm a little thinking that our show is going to be in Colorado, but probably not. <laughs> Who here, raise a hand, has a table at the show? Okay. Who here does not? So you're here to learn more about doing stuff? All right. Before you leave, make sure you see Allison. She has the forms for you to sign up if you want to do that. So I'm going to talk about different ways to create an effect, a cost-effective display for a tabletop show or even a small um, pipe and drape show. So basically, attendees, they're walking by. They're looking left and right. You have very little time to grab somebody's attention. You really have less than 10 seconds. So you need to be able to grab them quickly so that they will stop and have a conversation with you. So how can you stand out? Graphics are a great way to grab somebody. It's, it's a great way to quickly tell your story so that somebody says, yes, I need to stop and have a conversation with you. So there's different ways to do it. You can either use a single banner, you can use a display, you can use a series of three banners that you can later on use for different event, individual events. So if you do speaking uh, events, you could take a banner that you use at a trade show and bring it to there. Definitely get a table skirt for your table. Otherwise, you just end up with some plain white um, draping. It's another opportunity to get your branding out there to help differentiate yourself. Um, what's also great, I got a whole bunch of stuff hidden under here. So all the extra stuff that you bring, you just hide it. It's nice and clean and out of the way. So different ways to do a, table a tabletop display. A simple little trifold like this, which is what mine looks like over there. They're not expensive. You can swap out graphics if you have different events. It folds up into a nice small uh, display that's you know, 15 pounds or less that you can carry with you and keep in your trunk. You can get a little bit fancier. You can go to something like this on the left. Um, so if you have a, you know, a pipe and drape show, if you're doing a small show at the Javits Center or something like that, and you can just do, again, a simple pop-up. They're easy to wheel in and out. You don't have to hire labor, which is one of the reasons that people often don't do shows. Um, you literally, you wheel it in, the case becomes a little countertop for you. You can store stuff inside of it. Again, simple, inexpensive, and portable. If you're bringing literature, which Danny would prefer you didn't, but if you're bringing <laughs> recycled paper literature, and only enough to hand out so you're not throwing it all out at the end, and I have seen that, so she's definitely right, keep it clean. Get a rack that you can put it in. There are tabletop versions as well. But keep it clean and don't just have it scattered all over the table because that's a part of the impression that you're making with people when they're walking by your table. You can, also, you can put it all together. So you can use a combination of a tabletop display. You can use a banner. You can have the literature racks. You can have the table skirt. It all goes to, to your branding. It all goes to your being able to tell a story. It all goes to, more, most importantly, grabbing people's attention to get them to stop, because that's why you paid the money to come to the show. All right, so things to do. If you have nice recycled literature, bring it. If you own a company branded shirt, wear it. If you have good giveaways, make sure to give them out. Cotton totes, flash drives, recycled water bottles. Anything else? <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> you think I do this for a living. All right, so the reality is there are displays for every budget. If you only got a couple hundred bucks, there's one way to do it. If you got a thousand bucks, you can really do a nice job. If you really want to go hog wild, you can do that as well. Don't be afraid of making some kind of a statement at a show because of money. Find out what your options are, because you don't want to be the one table that's there that has nothing, that has you sitting behind the table texting, and you have a couple of brochures out front that are not made out of recycled paper. Make sure you do something so that people will stop and talk to you. Otherwise, everything else we've talked about is really, you know, you've wasted your money.